Peace, you know what it is. It's your man S-K-Y-Z-O-O, -O, Sky Zoo, live from the borough, headed all the way out to Paris. You know how we doing it, man. Hip-hop breath, you know what it is. Shout out to Hip Hop Breath New York, Hip Hop Breath Paris, DJ LSM. You know how you're doing it, man. Years and years in the game, rocking out. Gets no better. Let's get it. Let's break down the Easy Truth collaboration, because that's dope. Apollo Appreciate Brown it. always comes up with the production. Yeah. Uh, I heard you talking about the name, actually, as a play on words, Yeah. Uh, which is dope. Break that down a little bit for us. Yeah, the Easy Truth, you know, for me, I feel like there's nothing easy about the truth, you know, and I feel like there's a lot of. A lot of uh, a lot of what's going on nowadays, whether it's political, whether it's police brutality, whether it's just opening the door outside and seeing what you've seen every day, but no one really speaking on it right. the way you see it, you know, as much as it's covered out here, it's still never covered completely because it gets so much deeper than that. Right. So they're just giving you the easy truth. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So what what I wanted to do lyrically with this album was really give you the un unadulterated boom. Yeah. Right there, you know, no filter, just what it really is, you know, and, and it's as simple as that, you That's know, it's dope. a play on it because there's nothing easy about the truth if we're really talking about the truth. If we're yeah. coating it and sugaring it a little bit, then that's different, but if we really get into it, there's nothing easy about it. That's true. Uh, one of the big things you're talking about is police brutality. Yeah. Uh, like, that's one of the things that's not easy to talk about. It's nothing right. easy about that truth because a lot of people escape it. We mm -hmm. deny it. We don't want to shine the light on it, but right. you do a good job talking about the issues, talking about community, mm -hmm. and bringing it into something, a platform that we all enjoy. So I got to yeah. appreciate that. Thank you, man. Uh, what it. other uh, themes are on that, on that record? Um, well, with my music, it's always a theme of winning and getting it, you know, that's always going to be a part of it because that's how I grew up, you know, I grew up in neighborhoods where it was just about trying to get to it, you know, no right. matter what it was, no matter what it took, trying to take this and turn it into that and double or triple it, you know, those right. are the neighborhoods and, and environments and people that I grew up around and proudly, you yeah. know, it made me who I am, regardless of how heinous it may have been one day and how celebratory it may have been the next, you know, those are the things that groomed me and made me, so my music is always going to reflect the idea of winning and trying to get it, but what that really means, right. you know, and, and sometimes it means this, sometimes it means that, because that's just the way life is, it changes, right. it's you know. It shift is. So, yeah. A lot of wins, you hear a lot of music now, it's all about the winning, they don't talk about the opposite side of things. Right. Uh, so it's good that you say that, man, I can appreciate that, because it's, it's balanced to everything. Right, absolutely. You know what I mean? Uh, do you have any favorite records on that? Uh, we just played the freestyle. That was dope. The oh, the Stretch and Bob? Yeah, oh, the, the joint, Bob show, yeah. The joint, I forgot, what's it called? Money, with my man Joel on it. That's dope as well. I like oh, okay. that. That's my word, two favorite words. Yeah. Um, but what what about you? What are your favorite joints? What what are maybe the favorite versus songs on that? Um, the one like you mentioned with Joel, Couple Dollars. Yeah. Uh Spoils to the Victor is, is special to me. Uh, so why is that why is that special? Um, why is it special? I do believe easy as the truth could be, Mookie from the Jersey to the Jays all beautifully. 40 in a mule or whatever, if we do agree, easy as a stop and first turn into a shooting spree. Mm. DT's jumping out the back is nothing new to me. Truthfully, I'd be more surprised when they ain't moving me. Said the zipper bag without trying to fit a bag, like get to running with your bag or you'll be running to your eulogy. Mm. Graphic, pardon me, let's just make a note of that. Snapchat etiquette, like I ain't mean to show you that. We be in the crowd that they seem to be around, so if it's cars to the audience, they see this where Oprah at. And don't a day go by that we ain't trying to blow by. Complicated repeats, all of this is bow tie. First words we knew, buy low, throw high. Mm. Right into your prayers, baby. You know why? Sports to the victor. So that's why. You know what I mean? Like, Dope. Sports to the victor was a special joint to me. Um, they parked the Bentley on the corner. Uh, payout with me and Stally. Okay, yeah. Shout out to my man yeah. Stally. Yeah, the whole album, man. I love the whole album. Uh, one in the feel, same, man. one in the same was beautiful to me. So it yeah, the whole that vibe. feel of when I grew up, man. I'm <clears> telling <throat> you, like just hip hop. You know, I, I can't even put words to it, but it's a feeling we don't have now. You right. know what I'm saying, and so you match that. No, I appreciate back that back to back all the time, man. I appreciate that. Um, I got a couple fun questions from some fans of hip hop breath, so I'm gonna go through a few of those. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite thing about creating music? Uh, the expression, and honestly, the playback, like listening to it. All the time, <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, like, being able to hear you say, like, oh, Yeah, something. like when you have a vision of, of, of executing something, and then you execute it. Yeah. And being able to sit back and look at almost like a painting, you know, y'all want to paint this picture that does this and this and this, and then you put it together, and then you can sit back, and it dries, and it's hanging on the wall. You're like, yeah, that shit came out right. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. just the playback and just hearing it, really the, the creative process, um, Writing, you know, I get inspired by beats. <clears throat> you know, I love um, love hearing a new beat that mm -hmm. I'm bananas over. Yeah. 
like I'll be like, oh my gosh, like I, I start jittering, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like caffeine, like I start shaking and shit, like, yo, all right, all right. You know what I mean? You get that excitement, you know? Yeah. So I, I, I love that feeling. That's dope, man. And to be able to make something, to create something that you could share with people that you could like, yeah. I like that feeling as well. Yeah. Um, name any albums in hip hop history you could play back to back. Any albums you could play. You say back to back, just play over and over and over. Over and over, maybe hundreds of times. <clears throat> of course, what choice yeah. can you play back to back? Um, the greatest rap album of all time, Illmatic. Of course, yeah. 100%. Yeah, shouts to Nas, of yeah, course. Yeah, Illmatic. Um, I mean, there's a ton. If I had to, let me see, I kind of want to dig deep. Um, uh, Black Star. Black Star. Shout out to Black Star. Black yeah, Star. I could probably listen to a lot of Most Def back to back. Yeah, Most, Def, Most is yeah. top two for me. Yeah. My top two rappers of all time is Jay Z and Most Def. Respect. Yeah. That, so. Yeah. I don't um, hear that a lot. I don't hear Most Def in, in the tops, uh, but he's he's he's, yo, yeah. he's credited. He deserves yeah, absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, he Blueprint. The Blueprint for sure. I could do Blueprint all day, back to back. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. So it's a bunch. I could yeah. go down the line, but I, I leave you with those. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, if you could work with any producers and artists, alive or past, mm -hmm. who would it be? So, uh, my example would be I, Sean Price and Guru on the track with a Primo B. Right. That'd be dope to me. Mm -hmm. Like, Word if up. you could have the perfect record, you know yeah, what I mean? You definitely. plus who else? What producers? Oh man, I would say Sean, but but Sean and I worked so uh, much yeah. while he was here. Um, let me see. I mean, if we saying alive and yeah, it could be no longer here. Put it all together. Then I mean, Miles Davis. Oh, I'll reach for the stars. Miles okay, Davis. Okay, I hear you. Um, you know, uh, let me see. Jeezy, I, I would love to work with Jeezy. I've always said that. That yeah. I always that would be a dope really, collab. Really with what he did, yeah, yeah, what he does rather. Um, let me see. Production wise, Mad Lib, Pharrell. I've worked with so many producers, but That's a there's fact, still yeah. some that I haven't had the opportunity to sit and build with. So okay. Mad Lib, Pharrell. Uh, let me see, let me see, um, I don't know, I'm drawing a little bit of a blank, it's all but, good. that's good, I'm surprised I, you I, haven't linked over for Rell in them yet, yeah, I know, right, so, yeah, you know what I mean, but, um, yeah, guys like that, yeah, let me ask you this, big, of course, oh, big, of course, of course, I mean, I feel like that goes without saying, which is why I ain't get to say it, but, okay. uh, yeah, big, of course, um, if you could do anything else besides rap and get paid for it and love mm -hmm. it just as much, if it's possible, if it's right, anything, right, right. what would it be? Just writing, writing? You know, uh, whether it was journalism, whether okay. it was, you know, screenplay, which is what I'm also doing as well now, or, um, you know, novels, things like that, just writing. Sports okay. journalism, for sure. Yeah, you okay, know? I can see that. Definitely you know a lot of, journalism. yeah, you know your sports. And, and I dabble in that a little bit as well, you know, with Slam Magazine. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm a staff writer for Slam oh, nice. when I, I have time. That. Yeah, I wrote an article uh, last season. It was the Ben Simmons cover. Um, I wrote an article on Emmanuel Moutier. I oh, wow. Like I got to check that out. feature piece, yeah, uh, cool. last, last summer, last spring, summer. So, yeah, I'm working on another piece for them now. It's it's not every issue, but it's when I have the time. Okay, yeah, You know, you, the yeah. door's open for me to come in and write a feature piece or whatever it is, and it goes in the print mag as well as online. So That's amazing, man. Yeah, well fast dude, man. Yeah. Uh, again, Sky Zoo, very well faceted. Last question. Yeah. Uh, you just said the writing and stuff like that. What else we got for 2017? What can we look forward to? Oh man, um, working on some screenplay stuff. You know, I'm writing a television show that I've been working on forever now. Uh, it's an idea that I've had for maybe 10 years now. I've been working on, like I started developing the script, developing the, the, the premise for the series and character development, plot development, things like that. So that's coming to fruition now, yeah. you know, and um, God willing we'll be on TV screens kind of soon, hopefully. So I'm working on that, on, on a, a drama series that I created. I wrote the pilot myself. That's dope, the man, whole yeah. deal. So, you know, that. Um, I started writing this film that I'm excited about. So I'm taking my time with it, but we'll okay. see how that goes. Uh, touring, you right. know, myself and Apollo Brown will be in Europe the whole month of February. All you know, of February, yeah, okay, February yeah. 2nd to March 5th will be in Europe. Uh, the dates and everything will be on my website and on my Instagram and all that. All right, tell them know, what the website is. Friends, website, go check them. Yeah, website is skyzoothewriter.com and my Instagram is at skyzoothewriter. Twitter is at skyzoo. And all the dates and everything will be up there in about a week. We finalized some stuff now, but we'll be out from February 2nd to March 5th. I know there was like four France dates. Okay, you good. Know, Paris was a part yeah, of it. Flood um, that. I think Ren, Lyon, it was a, a okay. bunch of, yeah, good. it was all uh, over people Europe. People Lyon, go flush guys yeah. in the show, you Yeah, I, I love it out there, man. Every time I'm in France, I have a blast, yeah, man. man. I love we, it out there. So, yeah. 
Um, you know, that, and then I've already started, you know, brainstorming my next album. Okay, so wow. I'm, I'm trying to drop uh, my next solo album, hopefully in like December. Okay, dope. Called uh, In Celebration of Us. Okay. So. Yo, you heard it here, man. We got yeah. music, film, TV. Yeah. This guy's what I appreciate it, man. Thank you, man. All right. Love.